Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and use pre-made assets in HitFilm Express. So to use these assets, first we're actually going to go to a place called Footage Crate or Production Crate. Um, these guys are awesome. Go ahead and register. There is a lot of content on here that is free. I highly recommend paying for the pro version of this because they have a ton of stuff that you can use when you guys are making your videos, whether it be simple tutorials or a full production um, you know, TV show or movie, something like that. So first we're going to go ahead and download the elements that we want. So let's go ahead and go to visual effects and media elements. I'm going to go to buttons and icons. And let's go ahead and do a simple little subscribe animation. If you hover your mouse over all of these, they'll give you and you know, it'll actually play the animation of what they are. So let's go ahead and click on that. And there is a few different ways that you can download this. Um, if you don't have a whole lot of space and you want to keep things MP4, then of course you can you can go ahead and do that. If you've got a plenty of hard drive space, then I would highly recommend um, doing something in an MLV. But today we're actually going to be doing an MP4. So we're going to go ahead and click MP4. It's going to go ahead and start that download. And then we can just close out of that. Go ahead and bring up HitFilm Express because we're just going to be using that one. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our downloads. There it is right there. We're going to go ahead and grab that one in. Um, be sure to move everything from your download folder to the folder on your computer that you're going to be storing those permanently. Um, what happens is if you use that straight from the download folder or any other location on your computer and you start editing and using a composite shot within HitFilm Express or HitFilm Pro and then you save your work, move that file into a, you know, something that's more permanent on your hard drive and then you go back into that all of that um, saved file will actually be lost because HitFilm won't know where that file went. Just a little tip on that one. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a composite shot. We're gonna go ahead and show you how to uh, how to set this up here. So if we throw this down here, you're gonna see there's a big green green background that we can't really use as an overlay for anything. You're just gonna see a green background. Um, what we can do though to change this, we actually go to our effects tab under the keying. Um, <clears throat> typically, if you've got a green background, um, chroma key is going to be the thing to use. But of course, that is an add on that only comes with HitFilm Pro. And so today we're going to be using the color difference key. We're going to go ahead and drop that down right there. The nice thing about the color difference key is the default is set to green. So let's go ahead and go to our controls, make sure that your footage um, is highlighted. We're going to open up and as you can see screen color is set to green you can set that to red green or blue and then there's some um different sliders underneath that you can change the look of things if there's um, a particular part of your animation that you've got that you don't like the look of you can go ahead and change these sliders to um to match what what you're looking for so the nice thing about this is we don't actually have to set this color difference key every single time um if you are wanting to you know you've got files that are mp4s or you've got something that's got a green background in it that you want to use as an overlay and you know you're going to be using that over and over and over again i highly recommend rendering this or exporting this with a transparent background and to do that what we do is we're actually just going to trans um, export it directly from the composite shot we don't need to put it in our timeline or anything like that so let's go ahead and go over to their export we're going to go to add to queue and then contents Okay, so now that we've got our export tab open, we're gonna go ahead and change the preset to uncompressed AVI with alpha. What that means is, we're gonna go ahead and start that exporting. What that means is it's actually going to export everything else other than the alpha channel. So it's gonna keep those alpha channels, alpha channels. So they're gonna be transparent. Um, and so it's gonna take a few seconds here to go ahead and export the rest out. Okay, so now that that export is finished, let's go ahead and open the file where that export went. And there it is there. Let's go ahead and drag that into our imports here or into our media. Um, and as you can see, if we actually go ahead and drop that over the top, add that into our composite shot, it does now have a transparent background, which is why you've got that checkerboard there. Um, and as you can play through this, it's completely transparent. You can scale it, you can change it, you can, you know, add masks to it. Um, you can do a whole bunch of different things. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios, as always. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss anything else on HitFilm Express or HitFilm Pro, and we will see you guys next time.